Another off day in Campbell River. So today actually Lini took a day trip to Quadra Island and she's been sending me pictures of um, on board the boat. They have our poster for our Quadra Island show that is happening this Saturday night at the Seascape Resort. They put up posters in the ferry terminals and on the boats themselves. So that's just really cool to see, especially when you're this far away from home that there are posters up about, uh, about your shows coming up. It's amazing. I think I'm gonna take this rainy day to wander down to the water. I know it seems weird to do that on a rainy day, but I don't mind it. I'm gonna walk down to the water um, and I'm gonna check out maybe a local museum, check out some cool history of this place. Lini was telling me it's got quite a rich history, so it'll be interesting to check that out. Hooray. It's a pretty nice walk though, wouldn't you say? After a good amount of walking, probably a solid half hour, I have made it to the museum, and look, there's some cool stuff even in the park across from the museum. Neat. And you can see the Pender Queen coming back from Quadra Island from here. Neat. Although it's very far away. Whatever I do, I had better not touch these. really enjoying this museum. They have a, a couple of really cool replicas here, like this pioneer cabin. Looks pretty cool, but not nearly as cool as this thing. Wow. That's incredible. Can't really do it justice though. I'm not going to turn my flash on in the middle of a museum, but that's pretty amazing. Apparently, you're actually allowed to sit in this thing. You're also allowed to ring that bell, but it looks really loud. I'm not going to do that. Imagine having to slam on the brakes and having this shoved into this. Or imagine this thing tipping over. No safety features to speak of in this old thing. This could be my favorite part of the whole museum here. A full-size replica of the 1910s Willows Hotel. The facade out here and the full lobby. Look, they've even done up the porch the way it would look back then. And a complete replica of the lobby stairs that don't actually lead anywhere. Wow. This is exactly as it would have looked back in the day. Right down to the potted palm trees and the organ. Not to mention the organ, yeah. Old school cash register. You got your a fireplace there, and a picture of how it would have used to have looked. Note the potted palm trees. Really cool in some fashion of the time period. Some more little relics in here. Wow. And then just some dishes over here. I like the view of this wall as well, with the fish on the roof, the hats hung up. And the china from the restaurant. There's actually a very similar exhibit at the Royal BC Museum down in Victoria where you can go into an old Victoria area hotel. And that one's actually bigger than this, but this is amazing. Really love the old wallpaper. Look at that. Wow. So, they, so it's 1914, that's what year this is representing. It's built to look like it did 105 years ago. That would have also been around the time at the hotel we stayed in a few episodes ago in Powell River would have been built. 
That one was from 1910. I'm talking, of course, of the haunted Hotel Rodmay. So, would have been from around the same time period. I just love museums that have immersive displays like this. Look at this float house. It's a floating house. It's not actually on water, but it appears to be. That you can actually step onto. Convincing sound effects as well. <laughs> a reel there. And you can look in. Wow. Well done. That's really cool. Oh, even the tickets and stuff on the wall. Or on the window ledge. Ooh, I've never actually punched a time clock before. Neat. Jeez, the rain sure has picked up, but it's BC. What do you expect? Look at all the records. I'm upset by their level of how destroyed they are, but it's pretty cool. Wow. So the Willows Hotel that we walked through, well, the replica that we walked through, was originally right over there somewhere. And this was the first block of the town of Campbell River when it was first established in 1904. That's really cool. I lied, apparently the original location of that hotel is now the Tidemark Theater. And it looks like it must have been for a long time. I love the beautiful pink coloring and look at the sign. That's cool. I originally thought it was a movie theater, but no, it's actually it's actually like a performing arts theater with a stage and everything. Cool. Apparently the reason it's called the Tide Mark. Oh, well, how did I just notice these giant spiders? Well, that's horrifying. Wow, they're actually three-dimensional. They're popping off the wall. Amazing that I just managed to notice that now. Horrifying. Anyway, apparently the Tidemark Theater is called that because when the Willow Hotel was built here, it was pretty waterfront, I think. And they filled in a lot of this area as a man-made, um, I don't know, they, they put land there. I don't know what the term for that is. They filled in the water here and probably maybe just built on top of it. I'm not sure. But Lini was telling me that that's why they call this the tide mark. Not sure. I'll have to look that up. Especially horrifying from this angle. Ooh, ooh. I didn't even notice that we walked by, or I walked by, Beach Fire Brewing. That's what we're playing on a Thursday night. Cool. So in two days, we'll be rocking the Beach Fire. Oh, I trekked up that far. <laughs> Been a lot of walking today. Actually, it was nice to get out in the open and do some walking. Um, I was watching a documentary at the uh, at the museum about how there used to be a little, actually quite a large rock in the middle of that channel, and it was it made it difficult for larger boats to get through. So they actually went into the ground back in 1958 filled it, or miners went into the rock from underneath. They bored tunnels underneath the water, got up under the rock, filled it with dynamite, and blasted it open from the inside to open up the channel. That's pretty crazy. Apparently it's like the most dynamite they've, that anyone's ever used uh, to blow something up like that. So that's pretty crazy. I can't imagine what an enormous undertaking that would have been. Wow. Actually, I think the rock was over there somewhere, but just look at this view of the whole channel between Vancouver Island and Quadra Island over there. Just amazing. Wow, I have arrived back at Mark and Chelsea's place. Did like a solid 
two hours worth of walking. Probably walked like seven kilometers today around town. Really glad I did it though. And I'm finally back. But yeah, I'm also glad I'm back. <laughs> Definitely got my exercise in today. All right, and that'll do it for today's vlog. And um, that'll do it for vocal rest as well. Uh, I'm glad I spent two or three days here just chilling in Campbell River without doing too much singing to sort of give my voice a rest before we really have a big weekend. Um, and it all starts tomorrow. It all starts tomorrow at 1230 where we're playing at uh, the Sundance Java here in town in Campbell River. We'll be there for three hours, 1230 to 330 um, for the first of five gig days in a row. Five gig days in a row. Woo woo woo. Yeah, it's Sundance Java, then Beach Fire Brewing on Thursday, uh, Cornerstone and Courtney on the Friday, Quadra Island on the Saturday, and back to Campbell River for the Sunday. Really excited to do all of this. Gonna be... I don't want to say the peak weekend of the tour, because every weekend we're doing something awesome, but it's a big weekend for us. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get some sleep before I get up and tackle the big day tomorrow, and uh, you'll all be there to follow it as you always are uh and i'll catch you in uh, the vlog post about it tomorrow see you then